हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आई क्वांटा लेट्स डिस्कस एन अमेजिंग लॉजिकल सेट बेस्ड ऑन टेबल्स एंड दिस सेट इज फ्रॉम कैट 2022 स्लॉट थ्री सेकंड सेट पुलक कासिम रितेश एंड सुरेश पार्टिसिपेटेड इन अ टूर्नामेंट कंप्राइजिंग ऑफ एट राउंड्स इन ईच राउंड दे फॉर्म टू पेयर्स विथ ईच ऑफ दैम बींग इन एग्जैक्टली वन पेयर मीन्स पी एंड आर इज वन पेयर देन क्यू एंड एस विल बी other pair now it says the pairing was that the pair would change in successive rounds so for the next round pair would change for example if pulak formed a pair with kasim in the first round then he would have to form pair with ritesh or suresh in the second round so not the same pair will be playing two consecutive rounds now he would be free to pair with kasim again in the third round in each round each pair decided whether to play the game in that round or not so two players in that pair could decide not to play the game also if they decided not to play then no money was exchanged between them if they decided to play they had to bet either 1 rupees or 2 rupees in that round for example if they choose to bet 2 rupees then the player winning the game got 2 rupees from the one losing the game next it says at the beginning of the tournament the players had 10 rupees each each player had 10 rupees each at the beginning of the tournament okay or we can write it here 10 10 10 and 10 so basically a total of 40 rupees including all four players and they are playing the game so can we say in each round the sum of their money adding all the four together must be 40 these 40 rupees is not going anywhere they are just exchanging between them the following table shows parcel information about the amounts that player had at the end of each of the eight rounds it shows every time a player had 10 rupees at the end of a round so every time a player had 10 rupees at the end of any round it has been given so apart from this there cannot be any 10 in this table as well as every time at the end of a round a player had either the minimum or the maximum amount that he would have across eight rounds so for a particular player it has also been given that what what's the maximum and what's the minimum amount he had with him during these eight rounds okay so with pulak for example the maximum amount he had is 30 there is no minimum amount so 10 is the minimum amount he had during this so other amounts that we can put here is only 11 or 12 in case of kasim you can see 10 is there 8 is there 12 is there so maximum amount with him in any of these eight round was 12 minimum amount he had was 8 so all the minimum all the maximum amount and the 10 has been given so rest of the boxes could be filled with only amount 9 or 11 for in case of ritesh minimum amount is 4 maximum is 10 so it will be 5 to 9 it could be any number from 5 to 9 for suresh minimum is 8 maximum is 13 so now in these boxes the amounts with him could be anything from 9 11 or 12 so this is what it has been given here next it is also known that pulak and kasim had the same amount of the money with them at the end of round 4 at the end of round 4 pulak and kasim had the same amount if this is x this will also be x now you can see that at this box we can fill either 11 or 12 at this box we can put either 9 or 11 so these values are equal so this value can we say must be 11 both of these values must be 11 so let's try to solve this okay so at round 4 we can very easily put 11 and 11 the amount with pulak must be 11 or 12 with kasim it must be 9 or 11 in case of ritesh it must be 5 to 
for suresh it must be 9 11 or 12 and in each round some of these amount must be 40 so let's try to fill wherever we have one boxes left 10 plus 10 20 plus 8 28 this must be 12 10 plus 13 23 plus 8 it's 31 this must be 9 13 now in this case 10 plus 10 20 plus 13 33 this must be 7 in case of round 7 we have 12 plus 4 with kasim and ritesh which is 16 40 minus 16 is 24 If you look at these two value, eleven and twelve, this could be eleven or twelve. This could be nine, eleven or twelve. Now, some of these two must be twenty-four. The only way we can get twenty-four is twelve plus twelve. So let's fill it. This amount is twelve, and this amount is also twelve. Right. Now. From here to here, the change is one rupees, and from here to here, the change is two rupees. So this person is winning one rupees. Someone must be losing one rupee. That person cannot be Ritesh because this four rupees is already minimum. So he can only be winning from here, right? So Suresh is losing two rupees. So that person cannot be. That person cannot be pull up. That person cannot be Kasim. The only winner is Ritesh, which is six. We cannot take Kasim because we already know Ritesh. Ritesh is a winner. Pull up is a winner. So there could only be two winners. So now Kasim must be loser, and this amount must be eleven. Sixteen plus twenty-four again, forty. Now let's come to round four and round five. Can we say Pulak is a loser? Kasim is also a loser. Both of them lost by one rupees exactly. Means rest of the two players must have won by one rupees exactly. So this is six, and this is twelve. Correct. Now we are to fill round three and round six. Let's see how is that possible. Now from round three to round four, as we can see, Suresh has won two rupees. so someone must have lost 2 rupees now in case of ritesh as you can see change is 9 to 6 in two rounds so ritesh must have lost 2 rupees or 1 rupees from 9 from second round to third round it must be either 2 rupees loss or then 1 rupees or 1 rupees loss then 2 rupees loss then only we can get 6 so basically Ritesh lost two times from round two to round three. He lost round three. He lost round four in both the round. So in that case, we can certainly say that Ritesh is a loser, and he can lose either by one rupees or by two rupees in round three. Now, in case of Pulak, Pulak has maximum rupees in round two. So it can only be eleven or twelve. So Pulak must have also lost here. That means Kasim must have won here. So if Kasim have won, what we can say here? So this amount is ten, right? And this amount is twelve. So Suresh won by two rupees. Someone must have lost by two rupees. If Kasim, if uh, Pulak have lost by two rupees, it will be eleven. And in that case, Ritesh must have lost by one rupee, and Kasim must have. So let's try to put them here. If if Ritesh has lost by one rupee, then this value will be eight, right? And Kasim must have won by one rupee. So Kasim amount is only I can fill here is nine or eleven, and we know that Kasim have won. So Kasim have won. Then amount must be bigger than ten. It can only be eleven. If this is eleven, then this eight is justified. Kasim have won by one rupees. Ritesh have lost by one rupees. Next, in case of Pulak, Pulak must have lost by two rupees. So this is eleven. Now let's come to round six. 
Round six, the trickiest of all. In that case, again, if you check for Ritesh, what we can say, the difference is three. Again, same situation like round two to round four, we have the same situation from round five to round seven. From seven to four, Ritesh must have lost two rupees and then one rupees or Ritesh must have lost one rupees and then two rupees. Now, what can we say about Suris? It cannot be nine here. If this is nine, then he must have win three rupees, which is not possible. So it can only be 11 or 12 here. Now, in case of Kasim, so Suresh has lost. Now, in case Pulak lost this round, round six, so he will have, Pulak cannot lost, right? Because he have amount 11 and 12. So Pulak won this amount. Suresh lost this. Suresh lost this. Kasim must have won this. This is what we know as per now. Now, what we can say regarding the rest of the values. Let's say Ritesh lost by 6, 1 rupees and got 6 in this round. Someone must have won by 1 rupees. And that could be either Pulak or Kasim. Now, Kasim... If Kasim have won, then this amount can only be 11. Once again, same logic. If Kasim have won, this amount can only be 11. If this is 11, now we need to take care of this. This could be again 11 or 12. So in that case, if Pulak won by 2 rupees, if Pulak won by 2 rupees, then Suresh must have lost by 2 rupees and if Pulak won by 1 rupees, Suresh must have lost by 2 rupees. But let's come to next round. What is happening in the next round? In the next round, Ritesh lost by 2 rupees, right? Ritesh must have lost by 2 rupees. Someone must have won by 2 rupees. If we consider 12 and 11, what will happen? Suresh won by 1 rupees. Pulak did not lost any amount. So in that case, this is not possible, right? It doesn't make sense because Pulak did not lost any amount. So he, his partner or his opposition should not have lost any other amount while we can see that someone is all, all of the, the three are winning or losing. So definitely this combination is not possible. So let's try 11 and this as 12. Now 11 to 12, Pulak won, Kasim won, again this is 12 and 12 which is not possible, right? Someone must have won by 2 rupees. So again this whole combination is not possible. So what we can say here that Ritesh must have lost 2 rupees in round 6 and, some, and Kasim must have won so this must be 11. Now we already know that Pulak won, Ritesh lost by 2 rupees, so Pulak must have won by 2 rupees, so this is 12 and Suresh lost by 1 rupees, so this is also 12. So now we got the table complete and rest of the questions are very easy to solve now. It says what best can be said about the amount of money that Ritesh had with him at the end of round 6. At the end of round 6, Ritesh had exactly 5 rupees right option c no not round 6 it's round 8 let's consider round 8 at the end of round 8 Ritesh had 6 rupees which is option a what best can be said about the amount of money that Pulak had with him at the end of round 6 at the end of round 6 Pulak had 12 rupees exactly okay option a is correct how much money did Ritesh have at the end of round 4? At the end of round 4, Ritesh have 6 rupees. 6 is the answer for this question. How many games were played with a bet of 2 rupees? Now this is very interesting. All of them started with 10 rupees, right? All of them started with 10 rupees. So we will check the increase or decrease of 2 rupees. 
so here we have one such condition pull up one by two rupees pull up lost by two rupees and pull up one by two rupees so three such situation in case of kasim kasim lost by two rupees then kasim one by two rupees there is only two such situations in case of ritesh ritesh lost by two rupees ritesh lost by two rupees and ritesh one by two rupees Three such cases. In case of Suresh, one, two, three, and then four. Four such cases. So a total of twelve such cases where we have seen an increase or decrease of two rupees. Now, if someone is losing two rupees, someone is winning two rupees in the same round. So, if total such cases is twelve, so number of such matches, sub such games will be equal to twelve by. Two, which is equal to six. Six is the answer for question number four. Question number five itself, which of the following pairings was made in round five? We need to think about round five. Let's think about round four. Okay. In case of round four, as you can see, eleven, 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 and there is a win of two rupees. And Ritesh lost two rupees. So in round four, match must have been between PQ and RS. Again in round six, if you check, Suresh lost one rupees, and Kasim won one rupees. The match is between QS and Pulak won two rupees. Sritesh lost two rupees, so match is P R. So in round four there was a match between P Q. In round six there was a match between P R. It cannot be P Q or P R here. So the only possibility is P S here, and rest Q R here. So let's see. Pulak and Sritesh not possible. Pulak and Kasim not possible. Pulak and Suresh is possible. Pulak and Suresh is possible. So option C is. So with this we are done with this set I hope you enjoyed it for more of such videos you can go to ILRDI series by iQuanta on our YouTube channel thank you